All right. What's up, listeners? Today, I wanted to go over a few of the safety run fits from the FSU safety pressure article we just released. So I'm going to share a few of them here, and we're going to talk a little bit about the run fits. All right. So the first one is FSU Clemson. All right. The safety down here to the field is going to be the one pressuring, and we're going to get split zone action. So here we go. And bang right there. Safety is going to make a tackle for loss. So real quick going through this, and we're going to have a couple very similar to this one. The safety right here in the DN look to have really kind of swapped responsibilities here with the pressure. It looks like the end is now going to have the quarterback and the safety is going to have the dive and the safety does a really good job of kind of squeezing. He's on that spill path and he's able to come down and tackle the running back. Now, listen, I don't coach at Florida state. I'm not really sure what the game plan here was, whether Jared verse was supposed to go down and spill this and the safety was supposed to be outside and have the quarterback. I'm not really sure, but either way, since they both kind of played off of each other, they ended up being right. So that's the first clip. Here against Miami, we're going to see kind of the opposite. So again, safety blitzing at the top. We get that split zone action, and it's hard to see there, but really he's supposed to be the spill player and gets outside. But we're going to cut it here to the back angle. Watch well, just a little slower. So right here in the back angle, again, the end is wide. The safety is tight, and the safety right there makes great contact, but he's got to spill that slice block right there. And because he doesn't, Right, the running back's able to slip through and get out the gate. Again, the reason why he's got to spill it, we all know anytime there's a pull or slice, whatever you want to call it, it creates an extra gap. All right, so bang right here has created an extra gap here in the middle. All right, so we're looking at a gap right there that the running back's going to slide right through. And as you can see, the DN's really not in a position to take it. All right, he's more of a Q player at this point because he's so wide. So as he goes to try to collapse, it's a little too far outside, and the running back gets out the gate here. The only person left to tackle him is the safety. Uh, so big game there for Miami. The last one we're going to look at is the Louisville game in the ACC Championship. So again, Florida State's going to bring pressure. This one's a little crazier because there's some motion, and Louisville kind of does a triple look with the, uh, the H out in the flat. So the action we're going to get is this H is going to come back and work out to the flat. We're going to have the dive there and the triple coming out the gate, but it gets dressed up because there's a little motion right here by this guy as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right. The safety comes down. He's going to pressure. It looks like slice. Dean does a great job of squeezing the Packer gap exchanges and good Lord. I have no idea what the safety does here. Quarterback just pulls it real nice, easy eight yard gain here. Um, so let's go back and break it down a little more. So again, because of what we're watching here, and, and, and again, I don't coach at Florida State, but I have to guess, um, the D end here, Patrick Payton, all right, he does a really, really good job of squeezing, as we can see him right here. So he's squeezed that, all right, he now has the dive, he has the running back, his eyes are on the running back, you can even see that he almost tags the running back at one point before redirecting to the quarterback, all right. Now, because really I see these two gap exchanging, and I see where the eyes are, right? His eyes, um, the safety pressure, his eyes are inside, and right, and the linebacker's gap exchanging kind of has his eyes here on the slicer. Um, so you're going to see, let me delete this out, clear it real quick, that really, in theory, the safety number three should have quarterback here, right? And the gap exchange linebacker is going to go ahead and take that arrow route, that flat route, whatever you can call it. And he does his job, right? The backer's out there on the arrow. I mean, right, you probably still throw it for a couple yard gain here, but he's he's doing his job. It's three that struggles here, right? He kind of gets caught. He gets caught looking inside thinking, I really want to tackle for a loss, and he doesn't play it very disciplined, and then he kind of slips and falls, uh, so that really doesn't help. But he is the guy who's responsible for the quarterback here, and because we don't get that responsibility done, quarterback, nice pull. He runs for eight yards, and you know if you watch the game, and Louisville will probably tell you he's not the most athletic guy at quarterback, but it's an easy eight-yard gain. So again, just kind of reviewing these clips, you know, the very important part is when you're blitzing DBs, and it's something that I've done a lot in my career. You've got to make sure that they understand the responsibility. The vast majority of the time, uh, when we did it, I brought my defensive back, whether it's my corner safety outside. And we told him that you had the deepest leg of the near back, meaning that obviously if the quarterback is cross meshing, the quarterback becomes now 
the deepest back. And so if you go to the deepest leg or outside most leg, as we say, of the deepest back, you have no shot of overrunning it and letting that guy pull and get outside of you. Um, it's Kyle for the Board Drill Podcast signing off.